which is a tiny little section of Clark Street which connects up to High View and then up onto uh, Cecile Way. It's incredibly steep. I think I, I had a look at it and it's 20%. People have told me is about as steep as you can get. So not only have I not been able to cycle up it, but to be honest with you, I'm a little too terrified at this point to cycle down it because it just feels, it feels like you're going to drop off the edge of the world. And that's really what I was trying to achieve with this painting, was not only the view, but that feeling of steepness. Uh, that's why I've got very, very strong brush stroke in the foreground of the painting. All the brush stroke is directional brush stroke. It really leads you into the painting. It sweeps you into the painting. Uh, and it's very fresh brush strokes. You'll notice through the whole painting, I don't really come back and rework those areas. I tweak them and twist them slightly, but I don't come back and rework those areas specifically so that I can keep the integrity of those initial brush strokes, which are the freshest that will ever happen in the painting. There's an internal balance, uh, which doesn't necessarily may mean that the painting is a beautiful painting, doesn't mean that it is a visually pleasing painting, but it has an internal balance. And that's when everything within the painting works together as a whole, or with it, some kind of disjoint that you can see as part of the design of the artist. Uh, the concept started becoming stronger than the actual painting, which made the painting inherently weak. So that's where I ended up going into the major cycle too. One of the many finishing points of the painting, and of course how that ending point ties in with the concept, the initial concept of the painting, also dictates how close to finished it is. Thank you.